Ah, delicious food. It can be a symphony of flavors, a burst of happiness on your tongue. Imagine perfectly seasoned meat, juicy and tender, with roasted vegetables caramelized at the edges. Each bite might be a delightful contrast of textures, creamy sauce clinging to crisp greens. But have you ever thought about eating roaches, snails, or maybe even crickets? Sounds a bit unusual, right? But believe it or not, there are places in this world where such unusual farming practices thrive. And people actually enjoy these unconventional delicacies. Join me as we explore 10 remarkable farms around the world which will make you paranoid about your food. Number 10. Frog Farms Frog legs, a culinary delicacy for centuries, are experiencing a resurgence in popularity. Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City sits at the forefront of this trend, boasting a thriving and innovative frog farming industry. Gone are the days of simple ponds. Modern frog farms are sophisticated operations meticulously designed to replicate the frog's natural habitat. Diets are carefully tailored depending on the frog species and farming method. Some farms offer a live insect and fish smorgasbord, while others utilize specially formulated commercial frog food to ensure optimal nutrition. Flexibility is also evident in the farming process itself. Intensive production farms utilize large tanks for maximum efficiency, while others prioritize a more natural approach, opting for semi-natural ponds that mimic the frog's wild environments. Vietnam enforces strict regulations regarding frog farming, ensuring the humane treatment of these creatures throughout their lifespan. A significant portion of Vietnam's frog leg production is exported, catering to a growing international demand for this unique and protein-rich food source. Number 9. Roach Farms In a surprising turn of events, China's Kuaichou province is witnessing the rise of a niche industry, roach farming. Forget the scurrying menaces of your kitchen. Here, meticulously managed facilities are dedicated to raising specific roach species, like the dubia roach, for a unique purpose, traditional medicine. Sprawling, temperature-controlled buildings house dedicated breeding areas where roaches receive specialized diets to ensure they meet the stringent quality standards demanded for medicinal use. The concept of roaches as food might be a tough pill to swallow for many. However, research suggests that certain species boast a surprisingly nutritious profile rich in protein and essential nutrients. This has sparked interest in exploring roaches as a potential future food source, although widespread consumption remains a distant prospect. The roach farming industry in Kwaisho exemplifies human resourcefulness in its exploration of alternative protein sources and its keen ability to capitalize on emerging market opportunities. Number 8. Bamboo Rat Farms In China's Guangdong province, a unique culinary tradition intersects with a burgeoning industry, bamboo rat farming. These plump rodents, prized for their meat in specific regional dishes, are meticulously raised to meet a growing local demand. Bamboo rat farms prioritize animal welfare. Spacious, well-ventilated cages provide ample room for movement, replicating their natural habitat as closely as possible. The diet is carefully formulated to mirror what they would consume in the wild, bamboo shoots, leafy greens, fruits and grains, ensuring optimal health and premium meat quality. However, bamboo rat farming requires a significant investment of time and labor. Maintaining a clean and controlled environment is crucial for their well-being, making this a labor-intensive process. These rodents are a sought-after ingredient in specific regional cuisines, and restaurants across the province are willing to pay a premium for high-quality meat. Some successful farms have even begun exporting their produce to meet this growing demand, hinting at the potential for a niche market with international reach. Number 7. Cricket Farms The busy city of Khan Khan, Thailand, is buzzing with a new kind of industry, cricket farming. What used to be just background noise, the chirping of crickets has become the soundtrack of a growing economic force. This rise is fueled by two main reasons, the surprising nutritional value of crickets and the eco-friendly way they're raised. Crickets pack a powerful punch when it comes to protein. They're also loaded with essential fatty acids and vitamins, making them a strong alternative to traditional protein sources. But unlike raising cows or chickens, cricket farming takes up much less land and water, making it a more sustainable option for the environment. These cricket farms are typically run by families in rural villages. They've developed clever ways to raise healthy crickets by carefully controlling temperature, humidity, 
and even using light tricks to boost breeding. These techniques ensure thriving cricket populations. The popularity of crickets isn't limited to Thailand. Cricket farming has become a global phenomenon, with processed crickets appearing on supermarket shelves worldwide. Thailand, a leader in this field, exports a significant portion of its cricket production to meet this growing global demand. Number six, mealworm farms. Across North America and Europe, an interesting trend is gaining momentum, the rise of mealworm farming. Mealworms boast a high protein content, making them a compelling alternative for animal feed. Research suggests processed mealworms could even become a future food source for humans, offering a sustainable and nutritious option. While widespread consumption might require a shift in cultural perspectives, some companies are already incorporating mealworms into pet food and protein bars, hinting at the versatility of this insect. The beauty of mealworm farming lies in its inherent simplicity and efficiency. Unlike traditional livestock, these mini-meats require minimal space. Their diet is equally uncomplicated, consisting primarily of a mixture of grains, fruits, and vegetables. This low-impact approach translates to a significantly reduced environmental footprint compared to traditional livestock production methods. The global market for insect-based protein, including mealworms, is projected for significant growth in the coming years. According to a recent industry report, the market is expected to reach a staggering $8 billion by 2030. Number five, snake farms. Southeast Asia harbors a unique industry that transcends the typical image of snake exhibits, the snake farm. These large-scale operations serve a vital role, contributing to advancements in human well-being and fostering a connection between cultural traditions and modern practices. One of the most critical functions of these farms lies in the extraction of venom. This seemingly dangerous substance plays a pivotal role in the production of antivenoms, life-saving medications that neutralize the effects of snake bites. The snake farms found in Than Hoa Province, Vietnam. Here, generations of families have honed their expertise in venom extraction, contributing significantly to the national supply of antivenom. These villages, steeped in tradition, hold a deep respect for snakes and the vital role they play in human health. Beyond their contribution to medical advancements, snake farms in Southeast Asia cater to a specific culinary tradition. In certain parts of the region, snake meat is considered a delicacy. Number four, black soldier fly farms. Black soldier flies are no longer just annoying summertime insects. They're buzzing onto the scene as a revolutionary solution for waste management and sustainable protein production. These insects, previously overlooked, possess a remarkable capacity for organic waste decomposition, offering a sustainable and environmentally friendly solution to a growing global challenge. Black soldier flies larvae act as the primary waste processors within black soldier flies farms. Cultivated in large containers filled with organic matter, like food scraps, manure, or yard trimmings, these larvae efficiently convert waste into a nutrient-rich byproduct called frass. Adult black soldier flies are not detritus feeders. They can be harvested and dried, providing a protein-rich and sustainable feedstock for poultry and fish farming. The global market for insect-based protein is projected to reach significant heights in the coming years. Black soldier flies farms are positioned at the forefront of this movement, presenting a win-win scenario for both waste management and agricultural sectors. Number three, edible birds nest farms. Edible birds nest farming caters to a specific and lucrative niche within the Asian luxury food market. The key ingredient, swiftlet nests, commands exorbitant prices due to their perceived health benefits and unique texture in birds nest soup, a prized culinary tradition. These nests are meticulously crafted from the saliva of swiftlets, small, swift-flying insectivores. The edible bird's nest farming industry, particularly concentrated in Southeast Asian nations like Indonesia and Malaysia, flourishes due to the high demand for this ingredient. Edible bird's nest farms rely on specialized swiftlet houses, towering structures designed to mimic natural caves and cliffs, the preferred nesting sites for these birds. However, the edible bird's nest industry faces significant challenges. Traditional harvesting methods often involve scaling dangerous heights to reach nests, raising safety concerns for workers and potentially disrupting swiftlet breeding cycles. Furthermore, the high demand for edible birds' nests has led to over-harvesting in some areas, threatening the sustainability of wild swiftlet populations. 
Recognizing these concerns, the industry is exploring alternative approaches. One solution involves controlled environment swiftlet domestication, allowing for more humane harvesting practices and reduced pressure on wild populations. Number two, housefly farms. Houseflies, the bane of summer picnics, might just become the next big thing in animal feed. Housefly larvae are packed with protein, containing all the essential amino acids that animals need for healthy growth. Plus, they're highly digestible, meaning livestock can readily absorb these nutrients, potentially leading to better feed conversion and animal performance. The global demand for meat is skyrocketing, putting a strain on traditional protein sources like soy and fish meal, which come with environmental baggage like deforestation and overfishing. Housefly farming offers a scalable and eco-friendly alternative. It requires less land and resources, making it a win for the environment and a potential answer to the growing protein demand. Housefly farming is still young, but research is already refining rearing techniques, optimizing waste usage, and ensuring product safety. Number one, snail farms. For many gardeners, snails are unwelcome visitors, leaving a trail of destruction on prized plants. But what if these slimy creatures held the key to a sustainable protein source and even a luxurious beauty secret? Enter the world of snail farming, a niche industry with a surprising global reach. Snail farms cultivate specific species prized for their meat, often the giant African snail or the Roman snail. The benefits of snail farming extend beyond the dinner plate. Snail slime, once considered a nuisance, has become a star ingredient in the beauty industry. The mucus produced by snails contains properties believed to have a healing and hydrating effect on skin. Some innovative snail farms harvest this mucus for processing into various cosmetic products, catering to a growing market for natural skincare solutions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.